Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared very easy probability problem for you. Here is a problem. A couple both heterozygous for albinism have five children. What is the probability that the children will have the following phenotypes as the order stated? First child normal, second child normal, third child albina, fourth child albina and fifth child albina. First of all, we know that both parents are heterozygous, both phenotypically normal, but both would be carriers. So, genotype of one parent is capital A small a, and second parent also capital A small a. You can use any letters you like. I like uh, using uh, A because uh, capital letter A is different from uh, lowercase a. So, basically, we also can uh, build simple Punnett square. And when we build the Punnett square, we can find probability of certain phenotypes in their progeny. So, here we have capital A, capital A, capital A, small a capital A small a here and small a small a here. According to our Punnett square, uh, three quarters of the progeny going to be phenotypically normal and one quarter of the progeny going to be affected. So going to be albina. Now, uh, the question uh, basically about probability of five children in this family to be uh, born in a particular order. So, it is very important to understand that uh, when order is given, this is one way how we solve such problem. And if order is not given, we are using different method, which I am going to show you in the next video, which I am going to upload tomorrow. So, we told that first child have to be normal. So, when this couple would have first child, what the probability that this child would be phenotypically normal? And according to our Punnett square, probability would be three quarters. And one quarter would be probability that the child would be albina. So, we put three quarters here. So, each empty box here represent a child. And next, uh, second child also normal. And probability is three quarters. Third child albina. So, Let's use different color and probability is one quarter. So every time that this couple would conceive a child, they would have um, following probabilities where the child would be phenotypically normal or uh, would be albina. So fourth child albina. So once again, uh, probability would be uh, would be one quarter. So, let's put one quarter here. And the last child also albina. So, let's put one quarter here. And in order to find uh, probability of these events and each event, event here is independent because each birth here is independent event. So, we have to multiply all this independent events in order to find probability that all these events would happen in this particular order. So basically um, now we have to multiply 3 by 3 we are going to get 9 multiplied by 1 going to be 9 multiplied by 1 going to be 9 and multiplied by 1 going to be 9. So uh, we would have 9 here and 
4 multiplied by 4 would be 16. Uh, multiplied by 4 would be 64. Multiplied by 4 would be 256. And multiplied by 4 would be 1024. So 1024 we put here. And this is going to be our answer. So uh, 9 over 1024. And if you need an answer in uh, percentage form, we just have to divide uh, 9 by 1024. And we are going to get 0 0.0087. And this number, uh, this uh, answer that we got is on the scale between 0 and 1. And if you need an answer in percentage form, we have to multiply this number by 100. Or we can move this decimal point two places to the right. So in this case, our answer would be 0 0.9 rounded answer percent and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write the comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye